this weightless foundation and it's brand new um, it only came out here a couple of weeks ago and I am the shade Light 2 in Mont Blanc, it says on the top. I've never purchased anything from NARS before, this is my first NARS product. Yeah, I had seen a couple of reviews pop up on YouTube and I decided I wanted it. I wanted it real bad and I was gonna go get it and I did and it took me five days between deciding I wanted it and actually getting it. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I would leave this in as disaster because then I can show you how easily this happens. Now I've used this, uh, I've used this twice, but I've put it back in the box each time. Look what's after happening. I must have twisted the lid a certain way and it twisted the pump really loosely or something. So I'm gonna go clean it and pretend this never happened. I have used it twice, I'm currently wearing it. I wore it yesterday just to see what it's like. This is the packaging. It is a frosted glass bottle with a rubberized cap, which the rubberized black packaging is notorious for NARS products. I will start by reading NARS's claims and then I will tell you my own thoughts. All day luminous, weightless foundation, weightless 16 hour wear, oil free. Okay, when they say weightless, uh, that's probably the only claim I will give to it is that it literally feels like there's nothing on my face. It has one fluid ounce, which is 30 ml, which is standard for foundations. Um, ideal for all skin types, tones, formulated without oil, alcohol, or fragrance. The directions for use are shake well, apply one pump, one pump, and they actually have quite small pumps. A product in Japan. I wouldn't be putting any makeup anywhere below here. We'll start by warming the foundation in hands, then working with the fingers, apply a small amount in the center of the face, begin pressing onto the skin, working outwards in sections. They claim 16 hour wear and that it's for all skin types. And I can say straight up, that is incorrect. And also I have not applied it the way that they have said at all. But when I went to go get color matched, the girl did put it on me with her hands and it looked it looked grand, but I just think that I have peach fuzz and if I try and rub stuff in on my hands, I think I'm more likely to brush up the tiny little fuzzy hairs and it makes it really noticeable that I have a white hairy face. So other than the fact that everyone and their mother is delighted that this foundation now comes with a pump, otherwise you would have had to buy it for things like uh, Sheer Glow and Sheer Matte, you have to buy the pump. Um, everyone and their mother is enjoying this foundation. I would say on my skin, I have quite dry skin. I don't have much discoloration. Uh, I don't get many blemishes. I did a test with this yesterday with no powder other than blush, half my face primer, and it lasted a solid seven hours on me. And then it started to wear away. And usually my foundation, my face would eat my foundation, like that's what I like to call it. It would start to like, make a cake up around my nose and it would be gone around the sides of my face and stuff. Just a couple of pointers, yes, it says it's for all skin types. I would also debate that and say if you have super dry skin with a lot of texture, mm -mm, no flakes. Do not put this on if you have flaky skin at all. It is not a good time because I find that this foundation looks so much better an hour or even half an hour. Uh, after I put it on so the longer I wear it the nicer it looks which kind of defeats the purpose of putting it on and then wanting to look really nice instantly it's a really nice foundation it's 43 euro it's the most expensive makeup item I now currently own uh, which I, <laughs> I said that I wanted this as a gift which I got as a gift from my mom uh, in my previous video with Grace it's a tag video which I'll link down below for 43 euro it's okay for maybe 20 euro it would be insanely good, but for 43, it's pushing it, it's pushing it nice. All things considered, it gives instant, medium to moderately buildable coverage. Uh, I need about a pump and a half of this, and they only give small pumps, and I will show you. I did a pump and a half on my hand, and then I did about half that blob on each side of my face, and you'll see that I'll put on half a blob, on my brush like just like that and then it'll go all the way up my face it'll cover like big portions of my face so that's fine considering the fact that you don't need that much it's it's pretty good it's pretty good yeah you'll see in the demo that I have a colored old enough blemish on my chin I have a little bit of redness around my nose and stuff I have freckles which it clearly half conceals straight away all in all I'm pretty pleased with it 
Um, the main ingredient, the very top ingredient, is dimethicone, and then the next ingredient is water. I'd give it a solid 7 or 8 out of 10. I would take several stars and numbers off because of the price. It's so expensive. But other than that, it is a solid foundation. So yeah, that was my sort of little review. It's very good, but very expensive. That's the too long one didn't read version. I didn't watch version of this video. If you'd like to keep watching, you can watch the demo. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. Bye.